What is going on guys? In this video, we are going to be covering the five top neighborhoods that you have to live in here in 2023 here in the Phoenix area. So in this video, we're not gonna cover one city, we're gonna cover the entire valley. Guys, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of developments here in Phoenix, but these are my top five picks. So without further ado, let's hop into it right now. If you guys are new to the channel and this is your first time visiting, welcome. In this channel, we cover everything there is to know about moving to Phoenix, Arizona, as well as living in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you're thinking about making a move, uh, feel free to reach out to us, either call or text. We get phone calls and emails from people just like you every single day that are thinking about making their move to the Phoenix, Arizona area. So you know, even if you're thinking of, you know, in seven weeks or seven months or even seven years of making a move down to Phoenix, please reach out to me. I would be happy to share my experience of why I moved from the cold Midwest down here to the sunny Arizona and Phoenix area. So as we mentioned in this video, we're gonna cover the top five neighborhoods in the entire Phoenix Metro. And starting off at number five, down in the Southwest suburb of Goodyear, Arizona, we are going to start with Estrella Mountain Range. Now, this is such a beautiful and amazing community. It's got two private lakes that are in uh, the community, but you're right up against the Estrella Mountain Range. It is absolutely beautiful. They have an amazing golf course called Golf Club of Australia that you absolutely have to check out if you're here in the Phoenix area. But there's just so many walking trails, biking trails. It's such an active community. And uh, the nice thing too is that you're down in the southwest part of Goodyear. So you get amazing stars at night. It's just super, super quiet. And uh, you're just away from all the hustle and bustle. Guys, you don't even feel like you're living in the ninth largest city in the United States in Phoenix. So Australia Mountain Range is definitely going to start us off strong at number five. Number four, we're going to stay in the Phoenix metro area and we're going to go on the south side of South Mountain into Ahwatukee and the Ahwatukee foothills. Now this is, if I could live anywhere in Phoenix, I would choose Ahwatukee and the reason is the location is unbeatable. It's unbeatable. You're right off of Interstate 10. You're right off of the beautiful South Mountain mountain range. There's mountain views everywhere and it's such a tight and niche community. So right off of Interstate 10, again, I cannot talk about how well and how good of a location that it is. The value of homes is not, not terrible. You're, you can get into a home for about the low 500s, the high 400s. So it's more affordable than other areas of the valley, but you have the mountain views right there in your backyard. So definitely one of the most beautiful spots. And that is why Ahwatukee is going to be number four for the top neighborhoods that you have to live in in 2023. All right, number three, we are going to go down into Southern Gilbert, Southeast Gilbert, and we are going to stop at Power Ranch. Now, Power Ranch, again, as similar to Australia Mountain Range out in Goodyear, uh, Power Ranch has a beautiful, beautiful golf course. I like to play there a lot. It's a great course, and it just has so many tall trees, biking paths, walking paths, restaurants. Uh, Power Ranch has everything. There's a multitude of different uh, price points for homes, and it is just in such a convenient part of Gilbert as well. You're not too far off of the 202. So if you need to get to the airport, if you need to get downtown, uh, you can just hop on that 202 and head west. And uh, you also, you're not far from the Superstition Mountains East. So if you like to go out and do outdoor stuff, mountain bike, hike, uh, Power Ranch is gonna be an amazing, amazing neighborhood for you to stop in. And I just really can't talk about it enough of the community feel that it has. You know, when you're driving down the street and through the neighborhoods, uh, people drive slow, they wave to their neighbors. Uh, everybody's just so friendly here in the Power Ranch. You got fences everywhere. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So if you are thinking about moving to Gilbert, you've got to look at being in the Power Ranch community. Number two, we're gonna go a little bit further west. It's close to Ahwatukee, so that is why it's gonna be high. But number two is gonna be Ocotillo in Chandler, Arizona. Ocotillo, it looks like and it feels like you are in Southern Florida, but you get all the benefits of the dry heat and the amazing sunshine and no clouds, right? Um, but Ocotillo is a master plan community down in Chandler, and it's just amazing, amazing location right off of the 202, right off of the 101 and you're close to the Ch Chandler Fashion Square, so you get a ton of the best shopping that Chandler has to offer. You're close to downtown Chandler, which has a lot of niche shops, as well as a ton of good restaurants and nightlife. But Ocotillo has everything that you need within that planned community. It's almost all brand new within the last you know, 15, 20 years. In real estate, I consider that brand new. 
Uh, but the Ocotillo neighborhood is just so pretty walking around. They got little um, you know, ponds and pools of water everywhere. You just do not feel like you're down in the desert at all. So Ocotillo is an amazing community. They have 27 holes of golf, beautiful course. Again, there's water everywhere. Uh, one of my friends like to, likes to call it Aguatillo instead of Ocotillo, but it's a great golf course. Uh, they keep it in really, really good shape. I believe Phil Mickelson either helped design or was involved in some way, but so if he's involved, you know it's gotta be good. Uh, but the Ocotillo area is absolutely one of the best neighborhoods in all of the Phoenix area. Guys, if you like this content, and you want to follow more, again, click the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications. And if you want more information about either of these communities or just in more communities in general here in the Phoenix area, please reach out. I'd be happy to give my feedback of what I've seen and what I've experienced working with uh, my clients that are thinking about making their move down here in the Phoenix area. So without further ado, number one, the best location that you have to live in if you are in the Phoenix, Arizona area is the McCormick Ranch area in Scottsdale, Arizona. I talk a lot about location, it's very important to me and McCormick Ranch is absolutely phenomenal, guys. It's right off of the 101 in Northern Scottsdale. So you are just north of Old Town Scottsdale, not Northern Scottsdale, but you're about 10 minutes north of Old Town so you get all of the benefits of the shops, the nightlife, the restaurants, all the major attractions that Old Town has to offer, the Fashion Square, for some of the best shopping. They do have the best shopping in Phoenix in the Scottsdale Fashion Square. So you get all those benefits, but you're only about 10 minutes north. Um, and the community itself is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I cannot stress that enough. The biking trails, the walking trails, the tall trees, the massive lots, the huge homes. McCormick Ranch is a must, must, must live in area if you can afford it here in the Scottsdale area. But outside of that, you're just so close to, you know, being on the 101 and all the golf courses that are in Scottsdale talking stick. You got all those golf courses so close to you. You have views of Camelback Mountain. You have views of the mountains out in Northeast Scottsdale. It is just so pretty. It's in such a good location and there's just so many things to do just within the McCormick Ranch community. So that is going to be my number one, guys. If you like this content and you want to, again, follow me and click the subscribe button, that way you know of new content that comes live. So make sure you comment down below of your thoughts about the top five neighborhoods. What do you think of these neighborhoods and what neighborhoods did I miss that I should have had? So looking forward to seeing you guys on our next video and uh, check out the rest of our content that we have on moving to Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks guys.